So what's up with the putting? Well, my stroke is fine, I think. The other day I went to like the, you know Gene Matari at Zuckin? Yes. Yeah. So I like I asked him like yeah, yeah. if he could take a look at something like before yesterday's round. Yeah. And he's just like, well, your stroke looks really fine. He thought my eyes were getting a little bit inside the ball, which I sometimes I do. I get a okay. little far from the ball. Yeah. So I got a little bit more on top. And I was using that weird putter yesterday. This one Pulsini game was a little short for me. So I went back to this one today, and I felt like I putted better, but I still just had a few like this is just short putts that I was missing. Yeah. Like my lag putting was a lot. Like the tournament I had at the start of the week, I shot 79, 78. I only missed one fairway both days and hit 14 and 15 greens and shot 79, 78. Really so it was well. like really bad. Like yeah. it was just like chronic, you know. Yeah. And then yesterday was a little bit better. And today was the best putting day I've had so far, but I missed some short birdie putts because I was hitting it great. Um, and then, <laughs> but I also missed, uh, I had a few, I had four three putts. So four three putts because your lag putts weren't close enough or you weren't making? I was missing short putts, like yeah. three, four footers. Push the pools? Like, well, at the start of the week, I was getting a little, like, really pulley, but then now I got my eyes back more over the ball. It's not really, it wasn't really, I didn't feel like I was hitting as bad putts today. I just, I just didn't make them. Like, I just misread yeah. them or didn't trust what I was doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and kind of got a little guidey with it. Okay. Um, but I was pulling it a lot, but I didn't get any pulls today, which is good because I hate pulling putts. I may like pulling full shots, but I hate pulling putts. Got it. Okay. Well, let's run through. I mean, let's, let's see. Let's, let's run through a couple. Putting stroke is fantastic. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah. it, it, it never like feels off. Well, like, then you're when you're out there like that, you're not matching line and speed, or you're 100% not committing to what you're doing. Yeah, uh, today I felt like on the short ones that I missed, or the one, holes that three putt, just because I wasn't committed to what I was doing. Yeah. Just because I think I, in the back of my mind, I was like, you know, I was really pulling a lot of putts at the start of this week, and like I pushed some today because I felt like I was going to do that again, but I definitely wasn't. You know what I mean? I just yeah. wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah. You know. What did you do pre-round for putting? Uh, today, before my round, I just did. Um, it's like a three, four, five circle star drill. is what it's called. I couldn't remember the name. Okay. Um, I did a star drill, and then I did that um, that one with the seven paces I did in Ireland. You know, on opposite sides of like yep, the yep, putt. Yep, yep, yep. But that's all I had time for. What are you doing with your putting practice, like daily? All right. So like on a daily basis, I obviously start with my block, and then which is what right now? Gate. I just yeah. I have like the like the three T's. You know, on either side, like mm -hmm. we did in the winter. So it's just like yep. a, that long gate. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that just kind of keeps my path in check. Sometimes I do like my five foot circle first or four. I don't always do it like three, four, five with each of my sections, you mm -hmm. know? So I'll do like, I'll, I'll go in that order though. I'll go like three foot circle and then I'll do a short speed ladder and then I'll do some chipping game. And when then I'll go full swing and then back over and I'll do like a four foot circle and like a medium ladder. And then if I'm only doing putting though, then I add in things like that, um, like with the coins, like with the drill I was talking about I did this morning, mm -hmm. um, just to get the speed of the greens. Um, I do that one a lot. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing, like those those things. So when you do the circles like that, I think let's ramp that up. Yeah. Like. Twenty. Yeah, I think I think because it needs to be more than five. Because like it's getting to the point where I'm making it like five out of five too often. And it's kind of moving on. You know yeah. what I mean. So I need 20? to challenge myself more. Yeah, I think twenty is fair. And then when you get to the point where you do twenty a couple of times, then let's go to thirty. Yeah, I agree. So like to you, why did that miss? Just broke more than I thought. Yeah. It's a fine putt. Okay. Hit that last one and then we're gonna do something. Rest assured your putting stroke is very good. Good. Ooh. Do you have T's in your bag? Yep. Can you grab three of them? Yes. Okay, uh, here's what I'd like. I'd like for one of the T's to mark uh, your aim point. And then we're gonna put two of the other ones in front as a gate for you to hit through. Okay. And let's get your make sure your start line is good on each of these. So my aim point. Oh, this putt's pretty straight, honestly. I think if anything, it moves like slightly left. So I'm gonna go like right there. You gotta put it behind the hole though. There. Yeah, that makes more sense. Mr. 1800 on your SAT. I wish, Army man. League. I would kill for that. Isn't enough to do this for my block station too? I just put clubs out like this. Yeah. And like I, sometimes I just line it up so wrong. It's not even funny. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the like, world. Like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, that putt's perfect. I'll miss the hole by like four inches. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, you have to be like deliberate with setting the piece. That should be pretty good there. No, it feels like, I feel like I'm into the right. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. okay. Let's do the next one. Mm -hmm. You think this is right center? Yep. Maybe even a little bit more than right than that, actually. I think it's left center. You think it's left center? Mm -hmm. That's what you're telling me. That's what I said, yeah. This 
pup's gonna move left. Pup moved slightly to the right. Definitely did not. Yeah, it went in right where your tee was and you aimed right at it. It went in the right half of your tee. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I'll move it. Good lord, that's left center. No wonder you can't make a putt. Put that back down here. <laughs> right center, putt moving left. I made it, didn't I? Yeah, you made it, but <laughs> point. How's that? That's good. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Great. Even though I'm gonna miss left, because it's lined up left. Just trust that one. All right. If you miss it, you miss it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was not the left side of the oh. hole. The only other thing I don't love that I see, the one little setup piece, is your hands are farther back than normal. Yeah, like I'm not getting enough like forward press on it. Yeah. And adding loft a little bit. And, and, and yeah, and, and it's not even to a forward press. It's like your back of 90. Like that's not even 90 right there. Really? Yeah. Whereas your traditional putt, like normally before you were straight up 90, then you would press forward to that. That's what I like, yeah. Yeah. I don't love that, but like from Speed does it, he putts better than I could dream of. So like it works. But you right now, when you're saying I'm some of these, and I wanted to see you do it enough before I said anything, you're back of 90, and then you're pressing to still back of 90. So I'm, I'm starting back here, and I'm getting to like there. Yes. Instead of like starting here and getting to here. Like exactly. I do. Yeah. When your handle's back too far, it makes a loft at a club point left. Yes. And adds loft. And that would explain the pulls. Pulls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's get this. Let's do this first for a second. Then we're come back in these circles. Let's get a uh, straightish one, and let's just get that back to neutral, and then we'll do our circles. 